If you've been having issues paying for your Facebook and Instagram ads using your Naira card, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix that problem once and for all. I'll show you how you can solve this problem by simply creating a new advertising account. We call this ad account. And now you can create an ad account in your currency. So whether you're in Nigeria, you can create an ad account in Naira. You're in Ghana, you can create an ad account in cities, Kenya, South Africa, Cameroon, anywhere and then you can use your local card your country's card to pay for your ads without dealing with extra charges because you're converting to dollar without dealing with failed transactions and all the issues that come with paying for your ads in dollars so if your card has always been declined your ad payments have not been going through then you need to watch this video to the end i'm going to be sharing my screen right now in less than 10 minutes we're going to create a brand new ad account in our currency currency of our choice and i'll show you exactly how you can use this ad account to make payment now let's get straight into it the first thing you need to do is to open your browser whichever browser you're using i'm using chrome browser and then when you go to your browser you go to that place where you put in websites you don't go to google, google is a search engine google is not your browser go there and put business.facebook.com don't mix it up business.facebook.com this is your business manager we want to go to your business manager your business manager is where you can access your ad account your page your different pages and different things about your facebook account in general i hope you know that you can take control of both your facebook and your instagram account on the same ads manager account so don't ask me what about instagram everything happens together everything is owned both of them are owned by meta all right so this is my business account in case you are asked to log in maybe you've not done this on your laptop before you might be asked to put your facebook login details just put your login details and it will take you to your business manager account the next thing we want to do now is to create a new ad account you can see this left hand side right you can see the left hand side where they showed me the name of the business manager home notifications inbox content planner ads insights all to and all these things are details about my business manager account so if you love what you're hearing on this channel make sure you subscribe and of course share the link to this video in your whatsapp status your facebook story your instagram story let everybody know about this so i'll go to that left hand side i would scroll till i get to settings and i'm going to click on settings that is where i'm going to find my ads manager account and how i can create a new ads manager so just click on settings right away once you click on settings they're going to show you all the options that you need so this is it this is settings and then when i go down you're going to see people partners system users under accounts you're going to see pages ad accounts and so on so i clicked on ad account and then it took me to the ad account i have on this business manager account and it has shown one ad account that i have so you can see the ad account here if i want to create a new one i'm going to click on that blue button up that says add ad accounts you just see that blue button up there that says add ad account you might open yours and you will not see any ad account because you don't have any right all you just click on is that blue button and then you're going to see three options create a new ad account create an existing ad account request to share an ad account what you want to click on is the first option now for example you might click on this ad, ad account and they will tell you that you've reached your limit on your business manager for ad account what you're going to do is just to go back to you know that place where you saw the name of your business manager account that place where you saw the name of the business manager account you just go back there look at it here you click on that drop down arrow click on that drop down arrow and select another business manager account right depending on the number of pages you have you have a number of business manager accounts so i'll just select another one and i'll definitely see one that has an option for me to create a new ad account i hope that's clear for you to understand so let's go back to creating our ad account we're going to click on add ad account and then we're going to click on create new ad account once we do that We'll be giving options to fill up whatever details that we want please that's the first option you're going to click now you're going to be asked for details of this ad account this is an advertising account that short form ad account so you give it a name i'm going to give mine kemji the name is personal nobody is seeing it except you then the next thing is the time zone please take note of this this is what determines what kind of ad accounts that you are creating make sure you put your time zone wherever it is your location your country is 
the exact time zone because there are many similar time zones for me in nigeria is gmt plus one but not just any gmt plus one but gmt plus one lagos when you go down you're going to see a lot of gmt plus ones i'm still in gmt minus 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 okay i've seen gmt plus one you can see that there is gmt plus one africa casablanca there's brazzaville there's ciota i have to find lagos okay that's africa lagos please be very careful about this so you don't set a wrong time and then the next thing is to set the currency you can see that it is default on us dollars that's why many people find the account on us dollars you have to click on it and find your currency so whether you're in kenya you're in mozambique find your currency and select i selected nigerian naira then we're going to click on next make sure you check these things over and over again to be sure that you do not make any mistake before you click on next your name your account name it can be any name at all that you want the time zone and the currency then you click on next now they're trying to show you this is what your ad account looks like this is the business manager and this is the ad account so they're going to click ask you to you know agree to meta's terms of service and advertising policies once you tick on i agree you cannot click on create ad account and your ad account will be created in few minutes do you see how easy it is so the next thing they're going to ask you is to put your payment information this is another very important part that will, that will affect every single thing you click on add payment info and then it's going to load up you're going to select your country right and your currency Check this part very, very well. So it's already on Nigeria and Nigeria and Naira. If yours is not on your country and your currency, check it again. The time zone is also in Africa Lagos GMT plus one. Make sure you know your time zone, right? And then the next thing you're going to be asked to select your mode of payment. Can you see this now? You now have the option to pay with Naira. Look at that second option. Naira payments with MasterCard or Visa. Pay you. So this one now you pay in exactly Naira, the amount you want to spend, not trying to convert to dollar. Imagine the dollar to Naira rate right now. Imagine if you have to convert to dollar, it's going to be so expensive for you to pay for adverts. But with this option, you can pay in Naira and you won't feel any exchange rate at all. So that's the option you're going to select. Now, even one advantage of using this method to create your ad account is that you get a prepaid ad account. An ad account that allows you to fund your account with some money and then while the ad is running, it keeps deducting. Instead of the other one that the ad will finish running and then you are owing. You can't even pay what you're owing. Some of you on your ad account, you see you are owing so, so, so amount of money. You try to pay, it doesn't go through. That's the reason. This is the reason because you're using a postpaid ad account. But this is a prepaid ad account that works well and you can pay with your Naira card. Just go to your bank and ask for either a MasterCard or a Visa card and you are good to go. So you're going to click on that option of Naira payment with MasterCard or Visa card and click on next. And your Naira ad account is ready for you to use. The next thing they're going to ask you is to put in some money. Like I said, this is a prepaid account. You can put funds inside and the funds are there until you're ready to run ads. So you skip that part and then you click on amount to add. I can just choose any amount. There is no limit. I can put 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. But I would advise that you don't put much bulk money at once just in case your ad account gets restricted because if it's restricted, your money is gone with it. There is no refund. So put maybe 10K, 20K at once, maybe max of 50K. Don't put too much money. Uh, just put money that you can afford to lose in case of any happenstance. So the next thing we're going to click on is continue, right? Click on continue. And then they're going to ask you for your card details. Don't be scared. This is pay you. Your card details are safe. But if you're still skeptical, you can get a separate card, a separate bank account for this purpose, right? So this bank account, you only put small amounts of money there. And this is just for your Facebook ads. This card is just for Facebook ads. So look at this. My ad account has been created, right? So if I go to adsmanager.facebook.com, I am going to see this ad account there. This ad account that I named KMG is going to be there alongside my other ad account. You can see the ad account ID. You can see it right here created. So the easier way to fund your ad account instead of opening your laptop every time is to just download the Meta Ads Manager application on your phone right once you download the meta ads manager application log in with your facebook 
details go to settings go to payments you will see the option to make your payment with this naira payment option that we saw this pay you so you still put your card and it still works the same way to set up your ads you have to go to ads manager on your laptop which is preferable because of the many options and variety and all of that but then to fund your account maybe on the road you remember ah i need to put money in my ad account you don't have to go and look for your laptop you just open your phone put your card details and your ad account is funded easily if you'd like me to do a full facebook ad tutorial to show you how to set up effective facebook ads on your laptop and on your phone let me know in the comment section let me know if you want a full facebook ad tutorial otherwise i'll just save it and keep it to myself so this is it guys it is easy don't complain anymore about dollar payment i can't pay for my ads no just watch this video and follow everything i did here step by step you might need to watch it more than once so that you can easily grasp everything that i said and please make sure you practice and what to mean a lot to me is if you copy the link to this video right away and share on your whatsapp status it wasn't easy for me to create this content i did it the first time and there was no sound i had to record it again so if you really want to show appreciation for this content please copy the link post on your whatsapp status send to your friends post on facebook story post on instagram post anywhere that you are active it would really mean a lot to me if you share this content don't forget to let me know in the comment section if you want a full facebook ad tutorial and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to this channel i will see you next time bye